Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, I showed off the missing number item duplication glitch, and I will now show you the results of that glitch. I now have, um, Elixirs, Max Revives, Ultra Balls, and Full Restores all duplicated. I went ahead and uh, duplicated all stat increasers and PP ups, and I went ahead and applied those to all my Pokemon, who now have uh, much higher stats, and all their moves are increased to their maximum amount. So yeah, I have thoroughly um, injected my Pokemon with um, <laughs> mind-altering drugs to give them the best possible stuff they can have. And I also taught um, Electabuzz Submission and Rambi. Rambi now knows Horn Drill, Earthquake, and Body Slam. And then uh, the other person that learned another move was a Freet, and I gave him Earthquake. So yeah, um, every single person now has much higher stats. So <laughs> it's pretty much unfair at this point, but I don't care. Oh wait, where am I? Oh wait, I'm in the wrong building. Herpaderp. Wait a minute, wrong Pokemon. Line. Oh wait, the uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I need to go in the Pokemon Mansion. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, this is the Cinnabar... Wait, what? Where's the... Is there no sign that tells you that this is the mansion? I guess not. But yeah, we need to go in here. <sighs> you know what I forgot to duplicate? I forgot to duplicate Max Repels. <laughs> I'll have to do that off screen. But anyway... There's our first usage of Earthquake on this helpless, defenseless little Growlithe here. Trust me, he's dead. <laughs> but, okay. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to be right back. I don't want to have to deal with this. So I'm actually going to go and buy some. So hang on just a sec. Oh, $69,000. Okay, whatever. Um, they were right here on the island, so... Whatever, I don't care. Uh, I also sold, like, when I duplicated my um, my Earthquake TM, I basically just sold off um, all but one. So now I have, a, like, a crap ton of money. I didn't have any nuggets on hand to uh, duplicate, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I didn't, I didn't need it. We got an escape rope. Good, that'll be helpful. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of those places in this game that I just really don't like all that much. A secret switch. Press it? Who wouldn't? Yeah, really. Um, this is another one of those places that I could just never really learn my way through. I just... It just confuses me. I'm just stupid with this dungeon. Kind of like the rocket headquarters. Or the self-controlled... I mean, a uh, rocket-controlled self company. Whatever. Rocket HQ is a lot easier to say than that, but... <laughs> Ugh. Anyway... I almost feel kind of bad about uh, giving my Pokemon all the stat increasers for the LP and stuff, but you know what? I can't get out! This old place is one big puzzle! Yeah, you got that right. I almost feel bad. Not quite. Just almost. Anyway. Hey, a Charmander. That's cool. We have similar interests in terms of Pokemon that we chose as our starter. And why did you let your Charmander stay a Charmander for level 30... Until level 34? That just seems stupid. Oh, well. Anyway, even through the burn, Rambi will destroy you. Especially because of all the, um, the extra attack that he has now. It's just not even fair at this point. And hey, a Charmeleon. Ugh. I can't think of anything to say. That's the thing with these this dungeon, it just sucks all the creativity right out of me. <sighs> oh, something that I do need to talk about. I do need to bring this up. Um, this is probably going to make a lot of people angry, but um, kind of a sucky announcement. I don't really want. I don't even want to have to do this, but um. Because of the way Avid Studio works, which is the new editing program that I'm using for this, and pretty much everything in the future, um, Avid Studio takes so incredibly long to process videos that I'm probably not really going to be able to do, like, 20-minute videos as often as I used to. So, 
The majority of videos are now going to be around 15 to 16 minutes, because here's the thing. Oh, uh, hell, alright. Um, with, even with, like, a 15 to 16 minute video, Avid Studio takes upwards of an hour and a half to process it and render it and export it. So I don't want to have to be sitting around for, like, five hours. I don't want to devote my, like, entire, complete, full day to, you know, exporting videos and stuff. So that's just how it's going to have to be. Sorry about that. But anyway, let's talk to these books. Diary. July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Hmm. Sounds like that movie that I saw that I when I was a kid. Which, yes, I did thoroughly enjoy that movie. I liked it. <laughs> and, what's this? Diary, July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Okay. Sounds interesting. I sure hope they didn't clone it and make it into something unbelievably dangerous and destructive that happened to have destroyed this entire mansion and made it a death trap for whoever made it. And that's what Team Rocket is after, even though they never really explain it. I sure hope that's not what happened. I'm sure that... I, I'm sure that didn't happen. Anyway, um... There are diaries all over this place that, um, detail the, um... You know, the... Uh, discovery of Mew and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. It's like the only time this game does anything with, like, backstory. Alright, Secret Switch. Press it. Yes. Who wouldn't? Nobody. Um, okay, so that's closed. Okay. Oh. Let's fight the scientist guy. Uh, I think I know where to drop down from here, but, ugh. I have a lot of trouble remembering where I need to drop down from this area, so forgive me if I screw it up. <laughs> okay. And th the thing that is so nice, that uh, even even after I use all my PP ups and stuff, let's say I still run out of moves in the middle of a dungeon, it doesn't matter, because I have, like, infinite elixirs. That's just awesome. Okay, so I'm above... I am a higher level than this Magneton, so what I'm going to try is Horn Drill. Now, I don't know if this move works the same way as it does... Okay, wait. I'm not sure if Horn Drill operates the same way in the first generation as it does now, but I'm pretty sure the way that it operates now is that the higher level you are, it adds on accuracy, I think. So it's like if I'm 10 levels above this Magneton, it's 40% accurate. And then if I'm 20, it's 50%, so on and so forth. So forth. I think that's how it works. And if the Pokemon is above a level of yours, then it is unaffected, and it can't possibly hit at all. So they kind of made it so that you can't just cheat your way through a really tough fight. So anyway, let's try. Okay. Oh, come oh it's unaffected. Lame. All right. Well... Oh well, I tried. I don't know how it works in this generation, I just know that that's... Oh, I think that's how it works nowadays, so... Oh well, I tried. It failed. Ugh. Man, I hate having to make these videos short now, but man, you have no idea how annoying it is to... Like... Ugh. I mean, just see how slowly this thing exports. I mean, even Studio 12 exports faster. And really, this is just about the same quality. It's just I sharpen it just a little bit more, and that's really about it. I mean, that there is no way that that alone makes it export that slowly. I mean, jeez. But anyway, all right, repel. I don't feel like fighting anything, even though this is a good place to grind for Rhyhorn and, like, um, Sandman. I just don't feel like fighting anything in here just because it would make this place take even longer. Okay, so... Ah, uh, crap. I don't know where to drop down from here. I think it's here. No, of course. Oh, wait, no. It is! Awesome. Whew! Got it. Okay, so that's where you need to drop down from, the bigger place. If you don't, um, you don't go where you need to go. I'm just gonna skip that scientist for now because I don't care. I don't really care enough to actually go after all the freaking experience in here because we're getting plenty from the gym anyway. September 1st, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Oh no, 
did it escape its pod with the freaking armor and everything, and its eyes turned blue, and then it destroyed the entire facility with an awesome display of psychic power? I bet that's what happened, because I saw the movie. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, back there we got TM14, which is um, Blizzard, the most powerful ice-type move to date, I'm pretty sure. Uh, aside, of course, from, um, uh, like, uh, what is it called? There. Oh, we got in a fight? Oh, awesome. Hi there, Weezing. Um, uh, sheer cold, that's it. Um, but I don't really count uh, Sheer Cold and stuff like Fissure and Horn Drill as a powerful move because it's an instant kill. I mean, it doesn't really... That's not really... I don't think that counts. When I'm talking powerful, I mean stuff like base power. So, you know, like Earthquake having 100 base power. That's a powerful move. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I got full restores. It don't matter. I don't even need full heals anymore. Actually, duplicating those items makes me have to carry less items, because all I need is a full restore, and that's all the healing that I need. I don't need to heal status conditions specifically, and why would I want Fury Attack? You stupid rock rhino. No. Yes, I don't want that. I got good stuff. Okay. So, um... I don't even care. I don't care how cheap I'm being here. You know what? Just for the heck of it, Elixir. Okay. What an Elixir does is, uh, let's say you use an Ether, or an Ether, or whatever you want to call it. Found a rare candy, woo. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to use that. I don't care, because I just leveled up, and I'm not sacrificing facing any built-up experience. There. Now I only need one more level to get him to his, uh, to ride on. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, if you use an Aether, um, you can heal 10 PP of any chosen move. But if you use an, in, that, if you use an Elixir, you heal 10 PP for all moves at once. So it makes it really, really easy to actually, um, you know, restore PP for your moves. Uh, wait, where's my max repel? Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. And hey, we got through here in less than 15 minutes. Awesome, we got the secret key. That's what you're looking for. I don't know why the frick it's down here, but it is. If you don't have Dig here, I would highly recommend that you use an escape rope because you don't want to have to deal with getting out of there again. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit some items. Oh, well, that's a big waste of time. And time is now of the essence with my videos now because freaking Avid Studio is so slow to export, but okay. And before you ask, no, there's no way that I'm not going to use it. Because one, um, it's really a great program. It's just, um, well, here's the thing. I spent $147 on the thing, so there's no way that I'm not using it. Okay? <laughs> before you even try to bring up that argument, I'm, there, no. There's no way that I'm not using it just to save... I mean, just because it takes a long time to export. Because that was a lot of friggin' money, man. <laughs> Alright, so, with the secret key, we can enter the gym. Yo, champ in making! The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro! Douses spirits with water! You better take some burn heals! Nah, I don't need burn heals, I got full restores! <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see. Um... Let's get Rathian out there. He needs some experience. He's the only one that's left, aside from Mr. Norris, that's level 39. So, let's do it. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer. So you were gay first? <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Why do I take my chance? Why do I take chances with jokes like that? I don't even know. I guess I just credit people with having a good sense of humor. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. And hey, it's actually recording the water droplets for... I mean, like, it's actually showing the water droplets. Have you noticed that? A lot of times when you use Surf, um, like, there's no water droplets. Like, you know that scene before the two hydro pumps? They're, like, that. That rain, sometimes that doesn't even appear in the game. Or either that or it doesn't appear in the video. I don't know. It could be just in the video and you have guys have absolutely no freaking clue what I'm talking about. Ooh, Ninetales, cool. One of my favorite fire types ever. I love you, Ninetales. I would use you, but I already have a fire type. And Charizard is cool, so... 
Ow! Alright, and apparently, um, someone left a comment that said Roar in this generation had absolutely no effect whatsoever. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> that's pretty funny, and it would definitely explain all the times that it's never worked. I surrender! Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, now that... Uh, thank you. Uh, now that we're here in the Cinnabar Gym, we're gonna go ahead and end things off. Sorry about the shorter videos, but that's just gonna how... That's just gonna be how it's gonna need to be. So, next time, we'll work our way through the Cinnabar Gym and beat Blaine. So see you guys then.